Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you another towel DIY. A while ago I did a no sew decorative towel DIY for the towels that I display in my bathroom and so many of you really liked that DIY and I've had a lot of questions as to do I have any more towel DIYs and you know when I got that question I kept thinking and I thought you know what? There is a DIY that I've done for years that I've never made a video on and why haven't I made a video on this? I really don't know, but it is a pretty awesome DIY using bath towels. This is again a no sew DIY. It is easy to do, it is budget friendly, and the outcome is amazing. This is a DIY you are not going to want to miss. It's one that if you do sew, you can very easily do sewing. And using that sewing machine, it's one that I've always done using a sewing machine. But again, when I had that request for no sew DIYs using towels, I tried this to see if I could do it in a no sew way and I was able to, which makes it amazing. It is so budget friendly, easy to do. It's not gonna take you a lot of time to do it. And like I said, the outcome is amazing. This is one you are not gonna wanna miss. So let's not waste any more time. Let me quit my gabbing. Let's jump into it and let me show you what I have in mind for today's DIY using a bath towel that is no sewing involved. You're gonna love this. Alrighty, so bear with me on this DIY because I promise you it's worth the work. Today I'll be using this bath towel by Mainstays. It's a 27 by 50 inch towel. This size works the best. This is one that I had on hand already because this bag is going to be for Allison. Now, these towels are the best to use that actually have this decorative ridge, I guess, on them. You're gonna take and cut right along this upper edge here with some scissors. You wanna leave the decorative edge on the towel itself. We're just gonna cut this one strip off and we're gonna do that on both ends of the towel. So you'll be left with two pieces like this that we're just gonna fold in half long ways. Now using some of this heat and bond, this is a hem adhesive. This pack is amazing because it's a value pack and it comes with three different sizes or is it? Yeah, two or three different sizes, which is great because you're going to need both sizes unless you want to cut. Now going along this top edge here, this is actually the top seam of the towel. I'm going to place a strip of this hem adhesive. I guess that's just what I'll stick with calling it, the full length of the towel. The iron that I'll be using today is this iron by Steamfast. This is a compact mini iron that I found at Walmart in the fabric section, and I wanna say I paid $10 for it. It is really great for crafts because of how small it is, and I've been loving it. I'm gonna go ahead and fold the towel back over over the hem adhesive, and I'm gonna press it using my steam fresh. Now, if you wanna use the steam on the iron, it's fine. It's just gonna heat it up a bit more. And in this instance, I would definitely suggest doing that because the towel is on the thicker side. So you really want that heat to go through the towel and melt that adhesive so your pieces stick together. You're gonna to do this to both strips of towel that you cut from the top of the towel and the bottom of the towel. And just to show you, you can really see here how well that hem adhesive works. And this here is what you should be left with are these two strips here. Now taking this coordinating pink fabric, this is one that I've had in my stash that I had decorated Allie's room with previously. It matches perfectly with the pink towel. I'm gonna take a piece and it's gonna be just a bit longer and a bit bigger than the towel strips that we just cut 
because we're going to cover these towel strips with this fabric. And to do that, I'm gonna take and just fold the fabric in half with the right sides facing each other. I'm gonna place my towel strip on top using it as a template. There's no need for perfection when you're doing this. You don't need to measure, you don't need your cuts to be perfect. But when cutting it, you do wanna leave about an inch of fabric on each end. And then you wanna cut about three quarters of an inch or the width of your tape away from the towel, which in my case is just about a half an inch away from my towel. Then we're gonna go ahead and hem this piece too. And again, if I wasn't clear, you wanna do two of these because we're gonna cover both of the towel strips, which are going to be straps. And so you're gonna wanna put your fabric hem adhesive on the right side of your fabric on the edge there. Then you're just gonna go ahead and fold your fabric over it and iron over it and it's gonna give you a nice clean hem. I'm gonna turn these right side in and here just as easy as that, we made a sleeve for those towel strips. Isn't that easy? And it really only took just a few minutes to do. Once you've got that sleeve right side out, you're gonna see the hem or the seam line. You want that in the middle. You don't want it to be off to one side or the other. And so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna run over this with the iron again, just to really keep things neat and in place. For this next step, to feed the towel through the sleeve, I will be using a larger safety pin just by placing it on the end of my towel and placing it inside of the sleeve. It makes it a lot easier just to feed the towel through the sleeve. And so I'm gonna do that with both pieces of towel. And so, like I said, this is a sleeve covering up the towel. The towel really is just kind of meant to give this handle some substance to make it a bit thicker and sturdier, I guess, if you will. And so the fabric is just to decorate it and cover up the fact, I guess, that it's a towel that we're using. And again, you're just gonna wanna go back over these with your iron just to kind of smooth everything out. And look at that, we've just covered up those towel strips with this adorable fabric and look at how nice that looks. On the ends of these straps, I wanna give them a finished look. And so to do that, I'm gonna use the smaller hem adhesive. I'm gonna place a piece in between the two fabrics and one here on top. And then I'm just gonna simply fold it over and iron it. Now you'll see that the good side of my strap is facing up and the side that has the hem in the middle is down. You want to make sure and do it this way because I'm promising you it's going to give you a better outcome in the end. You're not going to see the seams or the hem that we're doing on each of the ends of this strap. And you're going to want to do this to all four ends. Now taking an embroidery needle and some embroidery thread, I'm using white. This step is completely optional. You can skip it altogether or you could use your sewing machine if you wanted to. I thought it would be fun just to add some of this thicker thread and give it that stitched look. Now, this is nothing fancy. This is just a loose stitch and it's gonna take me maybe 10 or 15 minutes to do both strips. And I'm just gonna do the outside edges on both strips. Now look how fun that is. It's not perfect, it doesn't need to be. Now I'm gonna take and just run another stitch along this side as well, and I'm gonna do that to both straps, strips, whatever I'm calling them. I keep switching it up. Moving on to the towel, on this upper decorative edge here, we're gonna fold this over and just kind of folding it in half, I guess, if you will. And again, taking the iron, this is such a repetitive project. I'm gonna iron this just to kind of help keep this fold down because once I've got it ironed on both ends, we're gonna do this to both decorative edges. I'm gonna take my hem adhesive and I'm gonna place it in between, sandwiching it there, and I'm gonna iron this down just to give me a nice clean edge. For this next step, I will be using more of that pink coordinating fabric and you're gonna need a piece in the measurements of 13 wide by 22 inches long. And using the thinner hem adhesive, I'm gonna fold the fabric in half long ways. And so that way it's 13 wide by 11 long and I'm going to hem two of the sides and I'm gonna leave the top open.
I'm gonna flip it right side out. Now I will tell you this is going to be a pocket, but the fabric itself is not going to be the pocket where we're using both sides of the fabric. I'm making this pocket two layers thick. And so to do that, I wanted to kind of hem it together the way I did here. Once I've got the sides hemmed together, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up that bottom edge and close it up just by folding in those top edges, ironing it and placing just a bit of that hem adhesive right along in there to close this up. Now all that's left to do is to put this together. So now we've got the towel here. You're gonna wanna fold the towel in half so the hem at the top is on the inside of the bag. Once it's folded in half, we're gonna go ahead and just place this pink pocket in the center of the towel. Now remember, like I said, the towel is folded in half. I'm just gonna eyeball it and for the pocket I'm gonna use the thicker hem adhesive and I'm just gonna hem it on three sides leaving the top open and look at there we've got a pocket and it's thicker using the double layers of fabric versus just one layer now I wanted to add a picture to this like I have with all the other bags so to do that I'm gonna use this fusible cotton fabric these are sheets that you can print on I went ahead and printed with my inkjet printer on them cut it out I decided just to leave a bit of a border and it really is just as easy as after you print it out and cut it to size you just run your iron over it and it adheres to whatever surface it is that you're applying it to these fusible fabric sheets you can find at Hobby Lobby Joann's Michaels and they probably run about $20 for 10 sheets but you're allowed to use a 40 or 50% off coupon. And a lot of times when I see that there's a 60% out coupon, which is only a couple times a year, I'll use it for that. And so there I'm only spending like $7 for 10 sheets. I decided to go ahead and just go a step further and add some of the embroidery thread to the pocket too, just to kind of tie it in with the straps that I had done. Now don't fold your towel in half for this part because you don't want to sew your two halves together. So when you're doing this, you kind of want to make sure that your towel is open. And I'm just going to run this embroidery thread down three sides. I found the easiest way to add the straps is to fold your towel in half and then just take this top part and fold it down. Then take your strap, the good side is up, we're going to flip it over and then we're just gonna place our straps where we want them to be, spacing them out however far you wanna space them. I'm gonna use hot glue for this. I'm using a Gorilla hot glue. It's gonna adhere perfectly to the towel, the fabric to towel, it's not gonna come off. And if you wash this, I would just wash it on cool and just kind of hang it to dry. You don't want to dry it anyway. If there's a picture on there, you're gonna just wanna let it hang dry. And so again, I'm just gonna use hot glue, place each of the ends spaced out where I want them to be. Now I'm gonna leave the towel the way it is so that way I can easily place the second set of straps here to the other side without having to measure just by eyeballing it and kind of lining it up with the existing strap that I just placed. I'm gonna close up the sides of this bag and to do that I'm gonna fold the bag back right side in and I'm gonna line up the sides of the towel evenly and using my thicker hem adhesive, I'm gonna place that right along both sides of the towel and just iron it and close up those sides. Now, again, this is one of those DIYs that you can do sewing. I have used my sewing machine every other time other than this one. And so, honestly, this is only the second towel that I've done using this hem adhesive and the first one was just the trial to see how easy it would be if it could be done if it would hold it together good and because it did i that's why i guess i'm bringing you this diy and so definitely if you want to sew it you could totally do that and it's going to work just as great but this hem adhesive is awesome for those who don't own a sewing machine or don't like sewing and like those no sew projects this is one that you can definitely do it with and the outcome is awesome. So again, when you're going over 
the sides, you really want to make sure and use the steam because the towel is thicker and you really want that heat to get into the towels to melt that adhesive because that's what's going to really hold everything together nicely. Now let's flip our bag right side out and you're about to see just how stinking cute this is. This is just the coolest stinking bag ever. They really are easy to make and if you just follow along with this tutorial, you'll be amazed at how easy it is to do. And really, it might take a little bit of time, but we all have nothing but time on our hands. I mean, we're stuck at home with nothing to do, so let's make some cool projects and I'm sure you've got a towel somewhere that you can experiment with. I like to finish this bag off by giving it more of a finished look around the inside edge there. And so to do that, I'm going to take just more of the coordinating fabric. I'm going to cut it just about an inch and a half to two inches, fold it in half and just kind of iron it. Use the hem adhesive to really make it look neat. And I'm just going to hot glue it around the inside edge here. I'm using hot glue because I feel like it's just a lot of thick layers to use that hem adhesive. And as long as you're not drying this towel, which you can't do if you put a picture on it anyway, it's going to hold up just fine. And kind of a trick of the trade is if a piece seems to be coming up where the hot glue was, if you just run your iron over it, it'll remelt the hot glue and it'll, I guess, re-adhere it onto whatever. But with these towels, you really don't have to worry about it. It's been a couple of months since I've made it. And since it was quarantine time, I thought that this was a perfect DIY to bring to you because so many of us probably have a towel in our stash already. And if you don't, on one of your trips to Walmart to getting groceries, you could always pick one up along with a back quarter. Look at how pretty and finished that looks. Now, if you wanna add some Velcro to the top of this or even some snaps, you can. I've done that before. On some of my older bags, I did it with a string going through the top here and I could pull it and kind of cinch it close. And I also added, you can kind of see on the handles that there are those metal snaps that you can sew on. That's always a fun alternative if you wanna close it. But this type of bag is one of those bags that I really like to take to the beach or take to the pool because it's just really easy. It's big, you can fit a lot in it. I finished it off with one of my labels back then, but this was a bag that I dedicated to Jeff and I and the kids as a family, just kind of embracing him being a firefighter. That was Ray, who was, I think, eight years old when I met Jeff. Isn't that so sweet? And that was the first time he got to play with the fire hose at Jeff's station. Such great memories. And there we have it, a very simple to do, fun, easy, stinking adorable, bag made out of a DIY towel. This is a bag that Kayla had when she was maybe seven years old and she's 20 now and it's held up perfectly. These are such great bags to make. They're easy and they make for a great gift to give. Now how cool is this bag? This bag is a bag that I gotta be honest, I've done for probably 15 or 16 years now. The first one I did 16 years ago and I did it, I wanna say when Jeff and I were dating and it was that firefighter American flag inspired bag that you saw in the pictures. And after I did that, I decided to do one for each kid and then it was one that I even made for gifts that when we were invited to birthday parties, I felt like this was a pretty cool handmade gift to make and it was one that I did incorporating pictures of their kids so beforehand I would ask them to send me you know three or four of their favorite pictures of their son or daughter and I would incorporate it into the pockets of the bag. This is one of those DIYs that is a very versatile DIY because it can be done in your favorite colors, in your favorite fabrics, their patterns. It really is your DIY, so get creative with it and make it your own. I hope you all enjoyed today's DIY. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video, I say to 6,000 likes today because each and every one of those thumbs up and those comments that you leave down below they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. 
Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. And bye for now, everybody. Bye.